Hey guys, Terry here, AKA Lucrative Soldier. Today I'm going to be talking about the Coleman Fold and Go Portable Stove. We recently went on a camping trip, a family camping trip, and last minute we realized we needed a new stove. Uh, in all honesty, I wanted the Jetboil Genesis, but I missed the deadline to get it in time just by a few hours, I believe. Um, so I ended up ordering this Coleman Fold and Go and it came in time. So the kids were really excited about this stove. Um, they thought it was a our waffle maker. <laughs> so that excitement quickly turned to disappointment and became my tool for cooking our meals out on the trail. So I'm gonna go through all the uh, pros and cons of this stove, and then I'll also give some tips and tricks on things to make it better. So first pro is the cost. This comes in at about $80 off of Amazon, um, which is approximately a quarter of the cost of the Jetboil Genesis. Um, so this is a good option for budget conscious people or people who just don't get out on camp as much and want a pretty good stove, but don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, so at $80, honestly, I think it's um, probably one of the cheaper stoves, period, of any type. Um, but you know, for sure of the folding type like this. Uh, I love the folding type because it's nice and compact. Um, that's why I went to look for it. Um, you know, I have a family of four and when we pack up, we pack heavy. My wife tries to take the house, you know. So um, when it comes to taking the stove, I, I try to get a nice compact stove uh, that could pretty much fit anywhere. It's a pretty solid stove. Uh, I didn't have any issues. It lit up right away. First click of the igniters and it fired up. Um, you know, it, it, it works well. It's very durable. I've seen complaints about the little latch here being a little flimsy, but uh, you know, it held up fine for the camping trip. Uh, I'm not sure how long it'll hold up. It doesn't seem like a big deal. Um, even if it did break off, I think it's an easy fix to do Velcro straps or something just to, you know, keep it strapped. But, um, you know, as far as this goes, I think you got to be pretty abusive to uh, end up breaking that. It, it's flimsy, but it, it works. Uh, if you see back here, this is where your propane plugs in at. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. And I did not clean it. Uh, I just wanted to hurry up and get this review out because right away when I started using it, I was like, yeah, I got to do a review on this one. Um, just because of what I noticed straight off the bat, um, what needed improvement and you know, the, the flaws about it. Um, so I will say one thing I don't like is, you know, your propane plugs in, in the back here. And so, you know, when you're all set up, let's see if we can get this better. When you're all set up, you're, you know, you're pretty deep. You're probably, let's say a good foot and a half worth of space depth wise that you need, you know, to set up your stove, um, which for some people might not be an issue. Um, for me, it was because we set up on a, a very, you know, narrow table. Um, so I, I really had to have the stove at the front edge of the table just to have the propane bottle barely sitting on the table. So, um, so the cool thing is also is, you know, here are the grill grates. Uh, they're indented. Uh, this is how you transport them. And when you're ready to use it, you just pop it out, turn it over, and pop it back in, and you're ready to go. Now, the issue is, I tried this right away as is, and I let my French coffee press go on high for probably a good 10 minutes and it would not boil my coffee over. Um, so right away I had to come with a solution out on the field and 
and here is the solution. If you can see the difference, uh, I basically took it. Now let's switch it up. Put it back in there. I basically took the grill in this form and applied pressure on each of these prongs and pushed it down so it would allow the pots to get closer to the uh, to the flame. Um, and right away I, I noticed the difference. So that was a, a, a quick and easy fix out on the trail if you're, you know, if that's what you need it. Like on the go, don't have time to order. Um, lower grill rates. Uh, I've seen a video where uh, someone recommends there's lower grill grill grates, not meant for this uh, folding go, I don't believe, but it does fit and it, you know, brings the grill down to this height. Uh, so if you, ahead of time, if you want to spend the money rather than doing your bending, um, you can get the lower grates. If you want to save money, bend them lower. Um, it took a combination of pressure and actually taking one of my uh, uh, long knives and you know using it for leverage to bend it even further in. Um, so that works. That allowed uh, you know a, a, a significant difference in how quickly things heated up. Um, I honestly think I would have went through a, a whole propane bottle trying to boil some water at full height. It just did not work. So the second gripe would be, or another gripe, I, I'm not sure where we're at, but I will tell you, um, a lot of the times when we go out camping, it's, it's nice and calm. Um, honestly, I can't really remember um, it being really windy, except this last time. And this last time it was really windy. And as you notice, there is no wind block on this. Um, so in order to do the boiling, cooking, whatever needed to be done, I actually had to set up a makeshift wind block because it was very windy. And um, without that wind block, it, it, we wouldn't have gotten anywhere. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind is if you have a, a separate wind block, you're going to need it, set it up, you're good to go. If you don't purchase one to go around it, um, set up around it and you'll be good to go. For transporting, you are supposed to flip these in like so. But I found um, once I, I'm not sure if I do both like this, I can keep it like that and fold it. But I do know with this one like this and this one like this, I can fold it to go without swapping that one out. Um, and also just throw the uh, propane connector in there and close it up and you're good to go. Um, a little thing that takes getting used to is the way this uh, pivots on these joints or axis or whatnot is you'll learn that you have to kind of mess with it to get it to line up to be able to you know, clamp it closed. Uh, not a big deal, but something to get used to. So my conclusion would be um, this is a excellent budget friendly um, camping stove option. Um, you know, me, I will be spending the extra to go with the jet boil, um, just because I, I was already set on it. <laughs> um, you know, I love the idea of jet boil. Um, but you know, again, like I said, if you are budget conscious, uh, you know, looking, you don't do a lot of camping, just need something to get the job done that's reliable, um, I would definitely recommend this. Uh, just like I said, uh, if you do get it, do your little grill grate mods. Uh, and I mean, really that's it. Um, you know, make sure you have your windscreen. Other than that, you know, you should be good to go. It, it's a great little stove. Um, 
I would do it again if I had to, if I was, you know, short on money or just didn't camp much, I would definitely invest the $80 in this little stove. It's a, it's a nice stove. It is, you know, for $80, you really can't beat it. Um, I'm happy with it. Did the job done, did it well. And, you know, after doing the little mods again, like I said, um, it, it, it works great, you know? So if you, again, like I said, if you're, you know, looking for a little cheap stove to get you by here and there, it's a good option. Um, especially if you don't mind doing a little, what, DIY grill bending, you know, it's really nothing to it. You can probably, <laughs> probably put the grill on the ground and have your kids jump on it for fun or, you know, till it gets to where it needs to be. So well, that's pretty much it for this uh, review um, of the Coleman Fold and Go. Hope you appreciated it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to pick one up yourself, click in the link in the description below and I'd appreciate it. Uh, it'd give me a little, um, little commission on your purchase and help buy new things that I can bring to the channel and review for you guys. Um, if you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.